Uh, a very good afternoon to everybody. Uh, today I am going to uh, talk about uh, basics of ultrasound. Uh, ultrasound is one of the major uh, inventions of uh, this century uh, as far as radiology field is concerned. And I will be discussing the basic physics and some of the uh, clinical applications of the ultrasound. So, to start with what is ultrasound? Ultrasound is a sound wave, but its frequency is higher than the routine sound wave which, which we uh, listen. The human ear can detect sound with frequencies lying between 20 to 20 kilohertz. However, uh, the ultrasound wave is, is a very high frequency wave and it uses uh, mechanical vibrations at a frequency higher than 20 kilohertz. But in routine, uh, for our routine ultrasound in radiology, we use normally uh, waves at the, in a frequency range of 3 to 15 megahertz. Now, uh, a little bit about how ultrasound behaves in a, in a, in a given medium. Ultrasound waves are uh, longitudinal uh, compression waves and uh, it, uh, the material through which they travel experiences cyclic variation in pressure. In other words, within each small region, there is a succession of compression or squeezing followed by rarefaction or stretching. So, how ultrasound beams are generated? and how we form an image by using this ultrasound, I am going to explain a little bit about that. Uh, this image shows a, a transducer which we use to scan patients while ultrasound and this transducer is made up of, of multiple small crystals. Here you can see these red crystals are ultrasound generating crystals. They are basically synthetic ceramic material named lead zirconate titanate and each probe contains multiple uh, uh, these uh, crystals and this is one image of this crystal and this is a piezoelectric material. I will just explain what is piezoelectric effect. Piezoelectric effect is basically when electrical energy is given to these crystals, they change their shape and by changing the shape, it, it vibrates and produces a sound, a wave that is called ultrasound. So basically from electrical energy, these crystals produce ultrasound. And then this ultrasound beam is, is tra traversed through the patient or any media and when it gets reflected, like in this case, after the beam hits a, a target and gets reflected, then again this, this crystal vibrates and it gives electrical signal. So these crystals uh, convert electrical energy into vibration or ultrasound and from reflected ultrasound again the electrical energy. So this is the effect which is called piezoelectric effect and this effect is the basic principle for producing an ultrasound. Now I will uh, show how we use this ultrasound waves to produce a clinical image. So there is another interesting principle is a pulse echo principle. What is pulse echo principle? Like this is a transducer and this is a body with uh, internal organs. So basically once an ultrasound wave is traversed, so the reflectors which are near to us uh, reflect the ultrasound early and the reflectors which are far away reflect the ultrasound reflect the ultrasound beam at a slightly later time so by timing uh, by timing these uh, returning ultrasound waves uh, the machine knows from which area or from what distance that particular signal is coming so Pulse echo principle is that basically from these piezoelectric electric crystals or from our probe, 
the ultrasound beams are propagated in pulse wave fashion at small intervals and then these beams when gets reflected back from the tissue in our body so by that the time after sending the, the ultrasound and then receiving the same ultrasound the time by timing these uh, these things our uh, the, the machine knows that from what distance that reflector is situated and this is how uh, it gives uh, different uh, tissues uh, different depths in the, in the in the image so now uh, a little bit about that the, the different reflectivities of various structures encountered by pulse causes a corresponding variation in the detected echo signal the detected echo signals are processed and translated into luminescence resulting in a brightness mode or b mode image this is a b mode sound image and it shows different body tissue with various brightness so so basically our image has got multiple pixels so in this axis uh, the uh, the machine calibrates by the time uh, of returning the ultrasound wave and the structures which are more reflective uh, appear more brighter on b mode image like uh, bone or uh, stone they appear more brighter on ultrasound image so this is how like this is an ultrasound image this is our probe so by sending various beams it makes a fan shaped image of one cross section area of our body this is a probe this is an ultrasound image so the probe sends multiple images into the body and each uh, this each uh, line produces one area of that image and then combining all this uh, information we produce one cross sectional image of the body another important thing is that as the ultrasound beam traverses through the body it's sig it gets attenuated so the uh, uh, like the beam has got some strength as it traverses deeper the returning signals become weak so to uh, to compensate for that that the signals which are returning from deeper structures have to be amplified and another thing is that uh, the higher the frequency of the ultrasound the faster is the attenuation so for uh, imaging the deeper structures we need a low frequency ultrasound wave and while uh, imaging the superficial structures we need a high frequency wave ultrasound so as i told you the deeper structure uh, as the ultrasound goes deeper the reflected ultrasound beams become gives weaker signal because there is attenuation of the ultrasound so to compensate for this uh, 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 this uh, decreasing signal we amplify the returning ultrasound from the deeper structures and this is called time gain compensation <laughs>